Hi, welcome back. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about what I've been practicing and so far and what I suggest you would do to start doing this. If you haven't seen the first episode, this isn't going to make a whole lot of sense. So I suggest you watch that first. So let's jump right in. The first thing I suggest is this book by Hannah Smith, Progressive Sight Reading Exercises. It's it's falling apart already. I've been using it a lot. Uh, it's Of course, it's, really, it's one of the best books for sight reading in the early sort of stages. One can also use it for more advanced things, and I have, and uh, in particular for this challenge, there's like 500 something, 534 exercises, or they're very short, not even pieces, I would call them like phrases. And they're very, very simple, but it's still difficult enough for this challenge. And if not, well, then you go through the book again, as I did, and then just do two at a time or something. And if you don't find that difficult, well, you don't need me then. And okay, so another thing that's really good about them is that they are structured. Let me show you by example. Um, here, number 97. So I played it a little fast, it's, these are quarter notes, but basically these are eight bars, very, very typical, and in two halves. And the second half begins, in this case, just like the first half, so that is a structure, something that can help you remember it, help you understand it, and help you predict it in advance before it even happens, with experience, if you do a lot of these things. And even within the halves, there's also a structure. So the first half goes, tonic and then dominant uh, in this case dominant seventh and then also very commonly they wind up towards the middle they go to the uh, dominant and then go back to the tonic now oh my god this is theory we don't want to do that you, you, you don't even have to this is like this is something you'll learn intuitively just by doing it just like you when you learn a language you learn to speak it grammatically correct by doing it without having to study the grammar. That's, I'm not saying you don't need to study the grammar or that you shouldn't, it's lots of good reasons to do that, but the actual practical application of it by playing these things, I don't think there's a substitute for that. And this, that's why these are so valuable because they tend to have this kind of structure and they teach you a lot about that. I'm gonna put a link in the description. That'll be an affiliate link, which means I get a commission on it if you make a purchase. So that is that moving on and uh, the next thing i think is really really good is these uh a i don't know his first name a schmoll 320 morceaux pour piano also a lot of quantity here they serve a similar purpose but uh, they're really better in almost every way it's a much steeper learning curve the, the first few are almost equally simple, but they very quickly get a lot harder, but they get also a lot more interesting. They're really nice pieces. And that learning curve doesn't always stay so steep. Before even, like if you reach number 60 or so, you'll notice that they don't change that much in difficulty anymore. These are also structured, but more complex, but they're, but still you have the same kind of pattern and there's also repeats in them and well, we really like repeats in this challenge. There's number 96 here. I'll just play a little bit of that. Stay there. Okay, so you get an idea that somehow I still managed to make mistakes. Anyway, but uh, you can see it's a really nice piece and these are very typical classical sort of uh, uh, patterns that keep happening. And so there's a lot of value in studying these. You can download the PDF and print it out. I could not find a book for it. I'd love to have it because I much prefer having an actual book. But as far as I know, it doesn't exist anymore. But if anyone knows, please let me know. Or if anyone has an old copy of it, I'd love to have it. Uh, let me know, please. Okay. So... Anyway, link below. Uh, what else do I want to say? Yeah, you can also, of course, any kind of beginner books are, are really good. 
you but you quickly tend to run out of material there because they're not very big they, they lack the quantity but that doesn't mean you can't do them i mean what else are we going to do okay so how long have i been practicing so far i started roughly six months ago plus or minus a month and i, I it wasn't the first time i tried it back in the day i could only do it with a very simple melody like something from these hannah smith uh, exercises but it was about six months ago that i properly started uh this routine and the routine is something like 15 to 30 minutes a day uh, i haven't timed it though either so i'm not entirely sure on that sometimes i know that i'd get really carried away i'd get into this mode where it's not going well and i get frustrated and i just want to try one more time and i just can't stop trying maybe the next one will go better it's 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 like a kind of gambling addiction or something like that i can't stop trying and it goes on for ages i don't even want to say how long i that's how bad it is but that doesn't happen very often the routine is usually something like 20 30 minutes okay so that's all i can think of for now thanks for watching if you have any questions let me know i'm not sure yet what i'll be doing in the next episode hopefully i'd be able to show some progress but yeah that comes slowly anyway take care see you next time bye